Chick chain bait. <laughs> so you've got your brand new Ant Miner S9. And hopefully you did your Ant Miner dance. But let's get to it. Let's set this puppy up and let's start hashing. Okay, to show you guys, this is brand new from Bitmain. Look, sealed, this hasn't been touched. You can see the classic blue sticker on there. And your Ant Miner right there. This is brand new, QC passed, as well as a brand new power supply unit. Again, Antliner, Bitmain, real deal guys. Alright, so now let's get to opening up these units. feels great. It's like opening up a money tree. Alright, you get your classic ant miner instructions. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your brand new ant miner S9. Now, there's a couple things that you want to do when you first get your ant miner S9 in the mail. Number one is let's check and let's make sure that we don't hear any of those heat sinks rattling around. So if you hear a light little rattling, that's okay. But if you hear clinking around when you do this and it's just clinking all around, you probably got a loose chipset. This thing's got to go back to Bitmain ASAP. Here we are. Look at this. So here it is, your brand new Ant Miner S9. It's equipped with two fans, one in the front and one in the back. They're both displacing about 200 cubic feet per minute. Now we just checked the actual unit to see if there's any heat sinks that were loose on the chipset. Now what you need to do is you need to thoroughly inspect each one of these cords to make sure that they're in properly, which they are. And we're gonna check these three, which they're in properly as well. I also give these just a little wiggle, make sure they're in there nice and tight. And now we're gonna hook up the power supply unit. All right, so here's our brand new AP++ power supply from Bitmain. We're gonna open it up right now connect it to the actual amp miner and get you rolling and get you hashing. Here it is. Brand new power supply for your amp miner. This is how it's going to come directly from China, from Bitmain. Throw that box to the side. Throw it like you don't care. Make it rain style. Now, let's get this hooked up to the right connectors, get you powered on, and get you hashing. So here's your amp miner. You have 10 connectors running from your power supply unit that need to be plugged individually into each one of these slots. Remember, only power one amp miner with one power supply unit. We're gonna hook these up quickly. And that's it. All of your cables are connected and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you double check all your connections. Don't check them once, don't check them twice, check them three times. It's worth it, trust me. It looks good. Last but not least, your 240 volt power cord. This is going to go right here when we take this into the other room and get it hashed. Overall the information and let's get you guys started. 
So my main goal here is to try to do this all in 10 minutes or less, get your first ant miner up and running into your wallet. First thing you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to download a little bit of software. So we're gonna go to the Bitmain website, go ahead and go to support. Let's go to download product firmware. And if we scroll down, what you need to get is going to be IP Reporter. So I've already downloaded it, but you'll go ahead and click it, download it. We'll go to your download files. Let's go ahead and pull that up. I've already extracted it. And we're going to go ahead and launch this program. But make sure when you launch this program that you run it with the administration restrictions gone. So what's that mean is run it as administrator because if you don't, it can cause problems. And what you're gonna need to do is now head to your ant miner. All right, now what you need to go ahead and do is hold down the IP reporter button on the ant miner for about five seconds and then go ahead and click start. It's gonna get a little bit loud for a second as we enter the server room. So bear with me for the sound. And there you go. You see, this is your IP address, MAC address, and the position it's putting at. I suggest that you write this down, take a picture of it, whatever it may be, so you have this address, because we're gonna need it. So go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and set up your ant miner. So let's go ahead and start to set this up. So you're gonna go ahead and type in that unique IP address that you got. And ours is dot one dot one four three. Basic passwords for this is username is root, password is Save it, don't save it, whatever it may be. So now when we're looking at the system overview. This is gonna give you your basic breakdown of your miner type, its host, hardware version, kernel version, the miner version, how long it's been up and its load. All right, what we need to focus on here is getting this thing configured. So let's go to our miner configuration and amp pool to get things started and going over here. So let's gonna go ahead and create a new worker, miner digi number four. So let's create him. He's been added, great. So now what you wanna do now is go to home. Now that we're at home, you can clearly see servers that we need to put here. Copy this for everything that it's worth. Here. We're also going to copy this to our third pool. Now you guys don't have to use these pools. These are actually active. You don't have to use ant pool. You can use something else. Now, let's go ahead and change the second one. Now, first of all, our worker name is Miner Digi. This was dot three. So minor digi is the username, dot three is the actual worker of what's working. So you don't need a password, I just go ahead and get rid of it. As you see, we really changed this. The reason that we changed this is because the next one is gonna have the same exact starting location, just a different port number. So this is gonna be 443 and the last one's gonna be 25. So let's go to the 443, 
Sorry about that. All right. So this is going to be four, four, three. And this one last one. Five. And minor digi three, no password. All right, you're going to go ahead and save, apply. Waiting for the changes to be applied. And that's it. Once this thing reboots, it's going to go ahead and start mining to your pool and get you started. Now, once it is done, go to your system. And what you want to keep looking for is you want to see that you get a hardware version here. Once this hardware version has been recognized, you'll start to see in your miner status the actual activity. Now, I'm going to freeze this for probably about 5-10 minutes, let everything gear up. And then I'll come back and I'm going to show you guys the difference. Guys, if you've been waiting 10, 15 minutes and you want to try to diagnose the problem a little bit so you can speed things up, go ahead and head to network, head to diagnostics, and let's go ahead and ping the actual Bitmain tech and let's make sure that you're actually transmitting and receiving packets. And you got six packets transmitted, six packets received. Perfect. Let's go back here and Wait again until our hash, hashing power gets picked up. All right, so you should be able to refresh and boom, there we go. We see the model, hardware, miner status, and we see that we are mining. And as long as we have the O's there, we're good. That means everything's working properly. We're getting shares. And you're good to go. Congratulations. You just set up your first Ant Miner.